What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avacyn Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys, welcome to part two with this Orzov Enchantments aggro list. I am loving this list, it is very very fun. Uh, if you did not check out video one, I very much encourage you to do so. Uh, you can kind of take a peek at the list a little bit more in detail, we kind of talk about it as we go through. Uh, we're not going to do that in this one, but at the very end we'll kind of sum up between the two videos our full thoughts on the games uh, and the deck as a whole. I will go ahead and say we had a lot of frame rate issues in the first video. I do apologize. They kind of got better as we went through. I'm hoping we won't have too many this time, but obviously we're we're subject to the network a little bit right now, so I do apologize. Uh, regardless, excited about this deck. I am loving it. Uh, looks like we're against another Luris deck. Uh, with that in mind, let's do this and let's get Knight down. This is a more aggressive card than something like the Life's Bounty. Uh, it can attack in a little bit more easily. Um, so I'd rather go with that first. Uh, let's do Hateful Eidolon. And I think we're going to go Sentinel's Eyes. That way when this dies, my expectation is that it will. Um, we will we'll be able to draw a card. Uh, if they want to kill this first, then that's kind of a waste of a removal spell, I think. Cyclers, huh? Cyclers, cyclers. Okay. Um, let's do this. If they want to block this, that's fine. Easy. Easy combat trick. Um, Get Godless Shrine out there, and we'll pass next turn, playing out that Serpent, and then hopefully <clears throat> dealing lots and lots of damage. Um, sure. Yeah. This is going to be really good considering Zenith Flare is a multicolored spell. Just saying. Um, Alright, uh, let's swing in. Really tempted just to pump this up. I think let's just be mana efficient and kind of go for that. Um, that's going to put a counter here, and now, you know, we could just be, like, proactive on the board. This becomes a bigger, bigger threat, and so they're going to have to deal with it, um, in which case we're going to be drawing some cards. So I'm fine with that. Uh, granted, they're dealing one, gaining one every time they cycle, um, but this is a, definitely a faster clock. Um and it has Vigilance, which makes it slightly difficult for the opponent. Um, what permanents do we have? Unfortunately, none. Uh, I would love to be able to... Let's do this. <clears throat> they want to block. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's cool. In that case, let's go ahead and play one of these out on three. Uh, Might have been a good idea to do it on four, but now we've got a second threat that they're going to have to deal with uh, that also has protection from Zenith Flares. Um, so that's pretty good. Yep. At least now they're not gaining life, uh, which is going to be a little bit more difficult for them. I say that and then they draw that. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah. What would we like? Uh, all that glitters would be amazing. We can just slap that on here and swing in. Looks like our frame rates are doing better this time. That's good. Uh, yep. Oh, that's actually not a bad draw. Um, granted, they can't do anything this turn. So let's do this and let's do this. If they want to double block here, they can. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Uh, yep. I'm going to throw this out as a bit of an insurance policy, um, and then I think I'm going to throw this out on three. Uh, this way, like I said, this is the thing, if they've got a Zenith Flare, this is the thing they can target with it. These are not. 
Uh, and so if they're going to kill this, we're going to draw now two cards, not just one. Um, and we also have now two tramplers that they have to deal with. So like, feel a little bit better. Um, ooh, we are dropping frames now. Ugh, sorry guys. Um, these stingers are annoying, but I'd honestly rather this than the life gain guys in a weird way. Um, so that's fine. They can cycle one more time. Sure. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm just all attacking. <laughs> um, they have to block a bunch of stuff, so, or at least some stuff. They can't really, I guess, let either any of these kind of get through. Um, and these all have lifelinks, so we gain a little bit of life back, which is mitigating a lot of this stuff. If they want to trade off for one of these, that's kind of fine. Uh, that's cool. Gain some life back. Let's do this. Don't want that. Um, we'll play Luris. Um, I kind of think we just play this just to have another threat out. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but like... You know, it's something else they have to deal with. Um, and might as well get the value while we've got this out. They've got so few cards in hand. I mean, they can play Luris out, but that's not going to do it for them. And we have so much spread out on the field here that it's going to be difficult for them to, to really get there, I think. Um, now, they do have four mana up. Just kidding, they don't. I was going to say they could Zenith or something. That gains them a lot of life, but... At this point, you know they're they're not going to make it. <laughs> they're just cycling away. Um, so this is, I, I'll say really quick, this is part of why I don't like this deck, is that the the Stingers, for instance, obviously an amazing card for that deck. They're dealing a damage every time you're cycling, and you can cycle a lot. The turn that they played the the second Stinger, I think, they, able, they were able to cycle a couple times. And I think they dealt something like four, maybe six damage. Um... And that's good. Like, that's, by all means, they were cycling, drawing cards, and dealing just incidental damage. That is fantastic. Um, but just because we had, like, three lifelinkers out, we mitigated half of that on the following turn. We were able to gain three back. Um, so, and you're just cycling cards, and so, like, you're losing out on some value at some point there, which doesn't feel great. Um, but, you know, again, that's... Not to say it's bad, it's just not my favorite, is what I will say. Interesting. Let's go Hateful Idol on first. Um, Gruel? Sure. Yep. Oh, that's mean. That's real mean. Uh, Good news is we have all the glitters, but... I guess they can just do this now, right? Well done. Very, very solid. Myers grasp, huh? Ah, I want to be greedy. Um, I'm going to try being greedy. I might be wrong, I don't know. But we're going to try it. They probably have a fight effect. Maybe not. Not gonna block. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Draw a card. Uh, we're just gonna play this out and leave out the blessing. And we're gonna attack here, gain our two back. Might as well. Uh, should we kill the goose? kind of think we do. It's a bit aggressive. I'm going to do it, though. Uh, they did not play a land last turn. So that's part of why I'm doing that. We also gain a good bit of life back, but that just keeps them off of ugh, lands. Was I wrong? Was I just not paying attention and they... That's okay. Good, good. Yep. 
Uh, let's see. What do we have in our graveyard? Let's do that. Let's do this. Might as well kill a thing. Um, and we'll attack him. We could have played all the glitters there. Don't think we needed to. Now they kind of have to kill Lurus because we just have a cycle of dead weights coming along. Um, so it's going to make it a bit tricky. Yep. I mean, that does it. Okay. We have a million lands, which is real bad for us. Uh, I actually think we keep that. That's not a bad threat. Um, let's get this going. All right, we're officially dealing more damage and gaining more life, so that's good. Yep. That's fine. That's fine. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Attack. I dare you. I got two cards left. They did finally play, or they did run out of lands technically. It's Temple again. Not really into that. Um, kind of looking for threats here. Okay, let's do it. If they want to block, they can block. But they're not going to. Perfect. Get that out and we'll pass. There we go. And we get to leave up mana for it. Feels pretty good. Embercleave? Just a guess. Probably definitely Embercleave, because they only need to attack with two creatures here. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Let's do this. We can, we can pay here and protect it. So like, kind of don't care that much. Let's do this. And let's give it pro red. Ugh, man, how many lands can we get? Um, let's be aggressive. I mean, we're kind of forcing them to not do anything, which is kind of the idea. Um, we just have a million lands. If we drew anything other than a land, we'd be in much better shape. Maybe it was wrong to throw the other life's bounty back, but... I just didn't feel like we needed it. I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> seems kind of silly. We can pump this twice, so like... Seemed a bit useless. I guess it got a counter on it. And there we go. Game two. I am liking this deck, guys. It feels good. Good, good. Uh, one more game, and we'll see how we're doing. Oh, let's open a pack. Oh, yay. Let's see what we get. I'm going to guess a gem. Yep, look at there. We have, like, pretty much... I think we have every common and uncommon in Ikoria filled out. Plus, we have, like, the majority of the rares and mythics. Not all of them, but, like... Okay, here's what I've realized in making, like, gameplay videos. <laughs> um, you just, like, kind of have to fill stuff out as quickly as you can. Uh, which is fine by me, because, I mean, that kind of works. But, um... Hmm. Whoops. Not what I meant. Uh, we'll try it. This is a bad hand, to be honest. I probably shouldn't keep this, but we do have a nice one, too, so we'll see. Probably going to lose. If this is like a mid-range deck, they're going to have value. Granted, we have Recursion out the butt, but like, it's probably not going to be enough, is my guess. Deadweight's a nice draw, though. If they do play a creature that we can deadweight, we certainly will. 
Okay. I assume they take all the glitters. Yep. Uh, we'll get a planes out. We'll pass. Um, hmm. Sultai mid range, I'm guessing. Uh, which is gonna be just so fun. <laughs> I'm glad in this case we are a Luris deck, though. I will say that. Okay. Let's play Myers Grasp, and we attack in. Pretty straightforward. <clears throat> um, not playing Luris yet. Not risking it against a Sultai deck. Uh, yeah. can take kind of whatever I think the the way to play Luris is very carefully <laughs> um, in my opinion I like to hold it back uh, for the right time but there are certainly instances where that's not the correct thing to do so that's not great for us that we just threw a land there um, let's play it out Only because we have these three do I feel okay doing this. Still don't feel great doing it, but we need to get a clock on them. Yep. That's fine. I mean, it sucks, but it's fine. Uh, these Sultai decks are sweet. I really, really like Sultai as a color combo. Okay. Ugh, man, we are just not getting the right stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in. Gain ourselves a bit of life. And we'll pass. Um, this isn't going to protect this, but it does protect this. Okay. That's pretty good. I don't love that. The land shall conquer you. The land shall conquer you, says Nessa. This is a nice draw in this case because at least now we can kind of... Oh my god. What in the world? Um, is this to our hand or to the battlefield? It is to the battlefield. Okay. Ugh. Um, we're doing this. Let's kill the land here. Excuse me. Let's attempt to kill a land here. I mean, worth noting, we're at a butt ton of life, but these decks can obviously deal a lot of damage real quick. Um, I mean, it takes, like, what, a Hydroid Crisis for a crazy amount to really get there. They can't play Uro yet, um, which is good, but this Nissa is obviously doing some work. Um, we can just kind of dead weight to land if we need to. Okay. Like I said, Hydroid Gracious. Yep, gain your life. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Hmm. It's in our graveyard. Just that. Not going to attack. Um, let's play this out. I'm going to deadweight this land. I don't know if that's 100% correct. Um, but this we're not doing... I mean, we can deadweight this and it becomes a 5-5. Five five, but we're not anywhere close to killing it or really even blocking it. Obviously, because that's flying. <laughs> um... I mean, yeah. I, don't, I mean, you could take kind of whatever here. Um, so my assumption is they might just swing in with this Hydroid Crisis, which is, like, fine. Um, but this becomes kind of useless, which is the idea. I mean, most likely we're not doing anything this turn. The only thing we might do is Omen. 
Huh. <laughs> I think we're just gonna get outvalued. We're already pretty outvalued, let's just be very clear. Oh, there are casualties of war deck? Douche. I can't say anything. I love casualties of war. <laughs> that card is amazing. Yep. Yep, yep. I mean, that's fine. It's not great for us, but like, yeah. They're just being mana efficient, I suppose. Not gonna attack. Okay. Hey, look. A land. Um. Why? Um. Hmm. Just to play something. Could have played on this. Didn't really matter, to be honest. <clears throat> we are not in a good position. If that was not already made clear. <laughs> uh, huh. So, thoughts against midrange? Probably not great. Um, unless you can just outpace them, which, I'll be honest, we had a pretty bad draw this time. Not that that's an excuse, because obviously that's part of the deck, but still not great for us. Um, multiple Call of the Death Dwellers. I think we got, we have three in the deck, if I'm not mistaken. We drew all three um, when we're not losing any creatures, so uh, that feels bad. Um, regardless, though, my takeaway of this deck is I really do like it. It's just, if you get outpaced by these big creature decks... It's obvious, you know, you're probably not going to win. Um, but that's what they're looking to do, so that's fine. Oh, and they got a Casualties of War. Perfect. Yep. Good, good. Can they play it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I guess they can. What are they going to target? I mean, they can hit Enchantment, they can hit Creatures, they can do whatever. Kill the Deadweight. Yep. It's pretty good. Woo! But we got a counter, though. Feeling good. Oh, God. No, no blocks. Can't do it. Yep. A Myers Grasp, huh? Um... Might as well do something. Let's kill that. Might as well draw a card. Yeah. We're sticking this out, but the understanding is that we probably lose here. Uh huh. Yep, feels bad, feels real bad. Um, still like this stack though, I'm enjoying it. Uh, something to mention though really quick while we're losing this game. Um, if you've not, uh, if you're not following us on any social media stuff, you probably didn't see, but we created our own basic land cycle. Um, I'm kind of trying to mention it in every video because for, in, in a very short amount of time, we're hoping to have those for sale. Uh, they are non-copyrighted material, we created them ourselves. I'm excited about it. Um, I think they turned out pretty awesome considering it was really a first draft. Uh, I mean, not a first draft, so to speak, but like this was our first attempt at doing something like this. Uh, so I'm excited. I think they turned out pretty well. So if you're interested in picking those up, you certainly can. They will be available very soon. Yeah. Our vague hope of winning is with the Starfield Mystic. <laughs> 
which is so sad because we're not going to win off of a Starfield Mystic. No, that's okay. Yeah. They have so many cards in the graveyard. I'm giving it one more turn. Because we lose next turn any either way. We have to somehow deal with this, and I don't think we can. All right, now I'm done. All right, that was rough. Unfortunately, they just outvalued us. Those Sultai decks, man, they are killer, killer. Um, okay, so in summation, uh, to look at this deck, I love it. Uh, it is very focused on beating aggro, other aggro decks, uh, is the way that I see it. So when we looked at our, our matchup versus Mono Red, didn't go quite as planned. Uh, we did not win it, but... Uh, and I think that was in the first video. However, we're actually tooled out to beat that deck pretty well. We've got four Deadweights, two Myers Grasp, a lot of ways, like Karametra's Blessing to kind of effectively block and make something or give something protection. The Life's Bounty gives it protection. Excuse me. So there's actually a lot of ways to beat that deck. I think we got a little bit unlucky there um, against opposing like Luris decks. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think we're okay. Uh, but not amazing. I think we go over the top a lot better, though, uh, is what I'll say. We've got, um, with things like Stone Coil Serpent, um, we've got ways to really, really power out something big, and then uh, with all that glitters, really take it over the top and then just trample over for a lot of damage. <clears throat> and again, we've got a lot of that enchantment removal, uh, and with Hateful Eidolon, you get extra value. We even saw it there, uh, despite it not winning us the game. We were able to Myers Grasp a land, draw a card, uh, that kind of value is something that I think is really, really worth having. Um, as far as mid-range decks or like big stompy decks, I think this is not the right choice to have against them. Uh, I think that's pretty clear. You'd have to double up on the enchantments or be faster in terms of just dealing damage. Uh, but now you're looking at a standard environment where like a gem razor uh, is a 4-4 on turn 3 if you've got it in the right deck and maybe even turn two if you've got it in the right deck. And that's tough to deal with. I mean, you can, uh, certainly, but it's a little bit difficult. Um, and so I think that this deck is hit or miss. Uh, it's very fun, I will say. I enjoy it a lot, uh, mostly because of the value you get off of it. Um, but I don't think it was quite as good as some of the other aggressive decks in the meta right now. Um, that being said, we did win a fair number of our games. I think we were like four and two, uh, in total with this. Um, so I feel pretty good about it. Um, but you know, I would say it might need some reworking. I think we could do some things like tool this out with maybe an Abzan list. Um, I mentioned that we did play pre Akoria an Abzan list that actually did pretty well. Uh, I think that something like that might have a better chance, uh, because you get things like Satessin Champion. <clears throat> where um, it's not only going to help you draw cards, but it's also just every time you play an enchantment, you get a counter. Uh, and so it can go, that's one of those that's going to go over the top even more, do a lot more damage, and hopefully win the game quicker. What do you take out for those? Well, that's kind of up to you. Uh, you could take out something like the, the Stone Coil Serpents. Um, I, I hesitate to do that because I think that is such a very strong card. Um, but maybe that's not the right place for it. So maybe that's one of the cards that we need to take out. But regardless, if you have, you know, a list or an idea for this, please make sure to share it with us. We'd love to play it. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching these videos. Please stay tuned. Uh, keep up on Patreon, but also uh, we will have those lands for sale very soon. Very excited about that. Uh, proofs are heading our way right now. So we're expecting those this week. Um, so we'll, we'll get that out to you guys as soon as we can. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Try out this deck and let me know if you've got any suggestions for future videos. I will see you hopefully very soon in the next gameplay video. See you guys.